Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 18 of Litco that is for some problem. Okay, so before starting the video, I am going to tell you that please solve question number 15 that is three some problem before attempting this problem. So if you have not solved this problem, please go and solve this and you can find a video for this in this playlist. Okay, so now coming back to this problem. So in this problem, we have given an array of n integer and we have to return an array of all the unique quadruple quadruplets num c, num b, num c, num d, where a, b, c, d should be between 0 and n and a, b, c, d should be distinct and we can say unique. Okay, num and we have also given a target. So our num c plus num b, num c and num d should be equal to target. So we have to return a quadruple whose sum is going to be equal to target and all the num indexes should be distinct and also our quadruplets should be also unique so let's get let's go to the example so moving towards test case one we have given an array 1 0 minus 1 0 2 minus 2 so and target equal to 0 so we can see that there are total three quadruplets that can be made minus 2 minus 1 1 2 now after adding this target uh, sum will be going to be equal to 0 and one quadruplet will be minus 2 0 0 2 and uh, another one will be minus 1 0 0 1 so these are three quadruplets that can be made using this array okay so moving towards uh, test case 2 we have given an array 2 2 2 2 2 so we can say there and target equal to it. so we can see there can be two quadruplets with distinct indexes 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 but uh, as you can see that these two are same quadruplets uh, so our quadruplets should be unique that has been mentioned here so we can return only one of these so our output will be only one that is 2 2 2 2 okay so now how you can solve this problem so as usual the naive or brute force approach will be to use four loops for four time inside a one inside each other so this is going to be something like this we will be running a for loop from i equal to 0 to n minus 3 then inside this we will be running another for loop for i j equal to i plus 1 to n minus 2 and inside this i want another for loop k equal to j plus 1 and n minus 1 and inside this another for loop okay so you can see that uh, time complexity can for this one is going to be n to the power 4 we go of n to the power 4 in worst case so obviously this one is not recommended one so what is the approach that we are going to follow so if you have followed the entire playlist then you must have seen a two pointer method for two sum problem and three sum problem so i am going to apply same method for this one first we will be running a for loop for i equal to 0 to n minus 3 and we will be we will be updating our target value equal to new target will be target minus nums i and then we will be doing three sum problem inside this and this will be going to give remaining three numbers okay so by doing this we will be able to find the quadruplet so this is the rough idea i am going to write the pseudo code for same in the next slide so let's go into let's slide okay now i am going to write the pseudo code for same As I have already discussed all the parts for this threesome in our previous video so please go and watch that if you have not watched then coming back coming back to this problem now we will be doing a for loop before that the what the requirement for this problem first we have to sort our array okay first sort the array nums and then we will be running a for loop for 
i equal to 0 to n minus 3 and inside this first we will check whether i nums of i is not equal to nums of i minus 1 just to avoid the duplicate items okay so we have to return unique element so we will be first checking that our current value is not equal to previous one so in this case we will be doing continue okay and before this we have to check whether current index is greater than i 0 or not so i am not writing this writing this here so you have to make sure of that okay inside this we will be running a, another for loop for j equal to i plus 1 to n minus 2 again we will be checking this same condition here and then after we will be doing two sum problem inside this okay so now we have to update our new target so this is going to be something like target minus nums i plus nums j and here we are doing some calculation which is going to decrease our time complexity by a huge margin so first we will find maximum what can be maximum using for next all the elements so as we have find out two elements already so we have to find out remaining two so maximum number of sum is going to be the last two indexes as we are array sorted so maximum is going to be equal to nums n minus 1 plus nums n minus 2 and similarly mean sum is going to equal to nums j plus 1 plus nums j plus 2 and first we will check if max sum is lesser than new target then we don't have to do any calculation simply do continue here and again we will check if min sum is greater than new target then we are not going to get any result for this j so we will be breaking from here so we do break ok now this is going to increase our time comp decrease our time complexity by a huge margin ok so don't forget these four lines ok then after we will be doing two pointer inside this just do two pointer do two pointer that we have already did into sum and three sum and uh, check remaining two values so two pointer and if result found I store that in our result so first we have to declare a result variable this is going to be list of list our result and then after this we have to return our result at last okay so how we can do this two pointer for that we will be going to see this in code okay just go to the compiler and the and write the code for same so first declare our result list of list now sort the array run the for loop from int i equal to 0 to we can check size of nums by doing nums dot length as we have to check every time so we are checking it initially okay now first we will be check we will be checking if i is greater than 0 and nums i equals to nums i minus 1 in this case we don't have to iterate just continue from here okay and then 
we will be running a for loop equal inside this that is going to be i plus 1 and j should be lesser than n minus 2 j plus plus again we will be checking for duplicacy if j is greater than i plus 1 and nums j equals to nums j minus 1 in this case do continue now calculate new target that we have to find okay so this is going to be target minus nums i plus nums j okay so we have updated our target now time to find the mean sum and max sum mean sum is going to be equal to nums j plus 1 plus nums j plus 2 and max sum is going to be equal to nums n minus 1 and n minus 2 okay then we will be checking if max sum is lesser than new target we don't have to check we don't have to do any calculation for that just continue and go for go for next j okay and after this we will be checking if mean sum is greater than new target then we are not going to find any result for this j for this i so we will be doing break from here now in slice left that is going to be equal to j plus 1 and right that is going to be equal to n minus 1 so this is the search space in which we have to do two pointer now do two pointer while left is lesser than right inside this find current sum that is going to be equal to nums left plus nums right if current sum is equal to new target then in, then we will be doing some calculation inside this in else if case may will if we will find that current is lesser than new target we have to shift our left by one index and L in else if you do right shift by one index okay so as we have satisfied this condition so we have to store this inside our result so result dot add array dot edge list method we are using here so nums i nums j nums left and nums right these are four indexes that we have found okay now we have to check for duplicacy for that we will be doing then we will be first we will be shifting our left by one and right by one then we will be check for duplicacy if while left is lesser than right this is the condition that we have to satisfy and then we will be checking if nums of left is equal to nums of left plus 1 in this case move our left by 1 and same for right I check left is lesser than right and nums of right is equals to nums of right minus 1 in this case do right minus minus ok everything is ok yeah now at last we have to return our result I hope everything is ok now run this ok so this should be nums n minus 2 run this again
Check another test case. Now submit this. Okay, so we have got one wrong answer. So let's go back and check whether we can do any. Okay, so as we are adding two number here, this can be long also. So just convert this to long. Now check again. Submit this. Okay, so our result is faster than 96% of the Java submission. So I, I I have told you that we are doing these three lines to just optimize our code. So if we are commenting this and submitting this again, we will be seeing we will going to see a huge margin. Okay, so now you can see that our code is only faster than 59%. Now you can yeah. So if you have learned something from this video, you can like this video. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share this video among your friends. Thank you.